the first day of school, the 2018-2019 school year, and I'm here with Dr. Moran. If you had to pick three places anywhere on campus that you'd really like to show what's going on, what would you recommend to me? Good morning, Jeff. It's a wonderful first day, and I'm very excited to be here. Okay, for the first day, I would certainly recommend that you visit many different classrooms to see how well our teachers are establishing relationships with students, getting them ready to learn like right away from the very first day of school. And then you're going to go pretend to get some things in the salad bar. Okay, we're not going to do that again. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Minato, what are all these kindergartners doing in the cafeteria? Uh, well, they're in grade one now, what? so uh, they get to eat in the big cafeteria. We're just showing them how it works. It's typical first day of school. Great energy, great kids. Just trying to get them in the right places. <laughs> yeah, I already talked to one kid who told me she was in the wrong classroom. I went into Mr. Jordan's room. Which class were you supposed to go? Miss Beals. Yes, that happens all the time. Just enjoy it, go with the flow, and within a week you'll know it all. Biggest disappointment so far? Nothing. What's the best thing that's happened so far? Break. Break. Like what was the best part of the day so far? Study hall. Study hall? It's the place where you get to learn more. Really? <laughs> well, this is encouraging. Time. What's happening here? What's happening here? Somebody tell me. Happening. Mr. Hendrickson, you were just recommending I stop by somewhere here on the third floor. Some of the science classrooms are doing a number of kind of interactive activities. So right now you can see biology in two classes, physics and IV chem. So we'll check it out. What are you guys doing messing around making paper airplanes in the middle of class? We're doing a, 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 a lab. Like what design would make a paper airplane fly the farthest? It, it cannot reach more than a meter. It can't go more than a meter. What and about the streamlined one? It, it went 11 meters and 40 centimeters. I think you should visit our new STEM lab, the Idea Center in the high school, where very exciting things are happening already. Giant box of Lego pieces. Uh, they're going to build, and as time goes by, they're going to become probably pretty annoying with the expectations that I'm going to place on them. Giving them an idea of what this class is all about, which is big challenges, new things, and work in a space where nobody might be the expert. If you have time, you should also visit the grade four, looking at our newly designed classrooms, which are a prototype for the kind of classroom environment we want to create all across the elementary school. What you're going to see as you go up to the top floor is that the entire learning space feels different. It feels more open. It breathes. What we wanted to do was move toward a learning environment where different students are learning different things at different times in different ways. And so what you'll see in those rooms are uh, flexible spaces, tables that are different heights and different sizes, traditional chairs, stools, cushions on the floor, uh, and we also opened up some of the walls and the doors and added a lot more in the way of windows so the entire learning environment becomes much more natural. Okay. So far we love our new class, new furniture. This year is going to be an amazing year for the great fall. It's a very exciting time and a very exciting first day of school. Great. That's great. That's, that gives me some good ideas to start with. Thank you so much, Dr. Rand. Have a great first day of school. Thank you.